what's up everybody this is dayton from killinoy kennels coming back at you guys with another banger i don't think you guys are ready for this one this is a highly anticipated video of a never seen before dog on the channel one of our newest upcoming studs as soon as this puppy was born i knew he was gonna be a star but we had no idea that he would turn out as good as he did like we always do we put our keepers tucked away until they fully mature and now this boy is an adult and i'll tell you what man he is something serious we had teased social media and the bully world with a little back shot of this boy we posted them on instagram they went crazy we posted it on facebook they all went crazy as well with this back shot alone we had locked in a couple studs on this boy as you can see in the comment section right Right here there's a box we're shipping out some semen on him he's already doing his thing and we haven't even released him on the channel yet if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming litters or the videos we drop and after you get done watching this one make sure you go to our channel and check out some of those other videos we got over 450 different videos of nothing but great America bully content but that's enough for all that, man. Let's go ahead and get into the footage you guys all came here to see. Are you guys ready to see a freaking nature? Are you guys ready to see the next biggest thing to hit the American bully world? Allow me to introduce you guys to our newest stud over here at the Killinois camp. This is gonna be our boy, Killinois Kennels Big Clout. We waited three long years before we put this boy out to the public. It was really hard doing that, man. You know, a lot of my partners haven't even seen this dog until just a couple months ago. But the look on their faces when they did let me know that the mission was accomplished. Looking back at it, we should have named this boy Mr. Olympia, also known as Ronnie Coleman, cause he's built just like him. This boy is ripped up from head to tail, and this is gonna be another major key to us over here at Killinois Kennels producing the ultimate American bully. One of the craziest things about this boy is he's about 70% razor's edge with just a little bit of gaudy line blood behind him. And when you're producing a bull with this type of mass and looking like this with all that edge blood in him, then you're doing something right. And we'll be able to go several different routes with this boy as far as breeding. He doesn't go back to any hyped up blood. He doesn't go back to Rocco blood. He doesn't go back to muscle tone blood. None of that. And that's the crazy thing about this boy. When people see him, they think that's exactly what he goes back to, but he has none of that in him. This boy is a product of selective breeding over years and years of our hard work over here at Killinois Kennels. And while I was out judging dog shows, all over the world, I was in search for a stud for Big Clout's mother. After searching and searching, I came across a diamond in the rough, and that is which is Big Clout's father. Big Clout's mother, she was heavily bred on the Killinois blood, and we used this boy for an outcross, and the outcome was amazing. You know, Big Clout's got some really nice brothers and sisters that we'll be showing you guys here really soon. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. This whole litter turned out being super, super nice, and we couldn't have been happier with the outcome. Big Clout already has big things going down right now. He's available for stud to approve females only. His stud fee is going to be starting out at 2500 And for anybody that's interested, get with us and we'll take care of you. His stud fee will be going up. We've already got breedings knocked out with this boy. And he's already shown us that he's doing his thing. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on and break down Big Cloud's pedigree. What you're looking at is his father. This is ABKC Grand Champion and BRC Global Grand Champion Odysseus. 
I want to send a major shout out to his owner, Jennifer Rodriguez, for the use of this boy, man. We put together something really nice with this breeding, and man, his son is going to live on his legacy and do his thing. Here's Odysseus winning best in show under me in Indiana, and here's a little better picture of Odysseus. None of this footage actually does this boy any justice. He is way more impressive in person. The video clips are just a couple clips I took while I was judging and seeing him at the dog shows, but that picture of him does him a lot more justice, like I said. This right here is gonna be Odysseus's father. This is Double L's Loki, a real badass grand champion Bistro son. Here's Bistro again on the far left, next to his father, lock and loaded in the middle, next to his father, homie which is a real nice son of diego's thing one of the best producing razor's edge dogs ever this right here is going to be bistro's mother she come off of an infamous breeding with pratt's pitts nemesis and this girl black china they also produced this badass boy heartbreaker this was a dog that was way ahead of his time you know he resembled an exotic kind of but this was a pure razor's edge dog and you know this just shows you through selective breeding you can get those traits this was the type of dog that made a lot of breeders switch to exotics because they couldn't get these type of looks let me go back to this boy Pratt's Pitts nemesis though. This is a dog we bred to a long time ago. We bred this monster to our girl Prodigy. Produced some really nice dogs like our boy Bolo, our boy Chaz, Illa, and many more. Big shout out to the homie Carlton Pratt's for the use of this boy Nemesis. This was one of my personal favorites back in the day. And keep in mind, we bred to this dog almost 20 years ago. This right here is gonna be Low Key's mother. This is Double L's Cleopatra, a real nice female. She comes off of this badass boy, Double L's Jackpot, owned by the homie Ty Lumley, ABKC judge. You know, big shout out to the homie Ty Lumley. This boy, Jackpot, comes off of this badass boy right here, Cash Pot. One of my favorite Dax sons comes from one of my favorite Dax breedings out of Gotti Lines Dax and Gotti Lines Diamond Girl. This is actually probably one of my favorite Gotti Line females. She comes out of this badass boy, Cali Kingpin's G2. This boy was a real nice bull and is in a lot of our pedigrees. This right here is gonna be Odysseus's mother. This is Fat Amy. She's about 50-50. She goes back to some real nice Gotti line blood. She's got Dax in her pedigree. She goes back to this badass boy, Phenom. She also's got Iron Cass's white rhino in the pedigree. This is another famous dog from back in the day. She also got this boy, Playboy, which is a real nice blue pride easy rider son. She's got all the American bully legends behind her, Monster G. West Side's Monster, the Notorious Juan Gotti. She's also got some really rare Razor's Edge blood with this boy, Fierro's Kimbo. This was one of my favorite dogs back in the day. Him, his brother, and their mother was some really nice dogs. Also in the ped, they got UKC champion, Razor's Edge Razzle Dazzle, with this girl, Armada, which is our boy, Killinoy Kennels Debo's litter mate sister. All that's going to tie in really good on Big Clout's mom's side of the pedigree. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. This girl is also loaded with tons of Razor's Edge Cairo. This is one of my personal favorite dogs, and this is a dog that would go on the Mount Rushmore for the American Bully. That's it for the breakdown on Big Clout's father's pedigree, Grand Champion Odysseus. Now we're going to go ahead and move on and show you the mother and break down her pedigree agree as well make sure you guys stay tuned this right here is going to be big clout's mother this is our girl killinoy kennel sativa the pics and videos of this girl does her no justice whatsoever but i'm actually going to get some new footage of this girl coming here really soon for her next breeding we got something major going down with her 
This right here is gonna be Sativa's father. This is our boy, Killinoy Kennel's world domination, also known as Napoleon. Napoleon comes from generations and generations of our blood over here and is one of our main studs on the yard. This boy has been the face of our kennel for a very long time and he's been doing his thing. Sativa is actually one of Napoleon's best daughters, you know, right along with our girl, Killinois Duchess, and our girl, Killinois Miss World Domination. Napoleon is up for stud to approve females only. For anybody that's interested, get with us and we'll take care of you. This right here is going to be Napoleon's father. This is our boy, Killinoy Kennel's white folks. This boy is going to go down as a legend. This boy outproduces himself with every single breeding and has been labeled top producer for a really long time. He comes out of our boy here, Killinoy Kennel's Primro, another dog that was produced in-house here at the Killinois camp and has one of the most exclusive Razor's Edge pedigrees you'll ever find. This is one of the main reasons white folks produces as good as he does. This boy's pedigree is second to none. This right here is Primrose Father. This is our boy, Killinois Kennels Rocky, another dog that we produced here at the Killinois camp. And the reason why I keep mentioning that is because these are, when I say that about a dog, those are dogs that we actually produced here at our kennel. These ain't dogs that we've bought. These are dogs that we actually produced. Rocky here is one of our foundation studs, and this dog is one of the most underrated Razor's Edge dogs of all time. Rocky was way ahead of the game. He had a look that not too many dogs had at that time. This boy was produced over 15 years ago, and he could still hang with the dogs of today. Like I said, way ahead of his time. This right here is Rocky's father. This is Devil's Den's Viper, real badass Razor's Edge stud. He's the dog we bred to our foundation female, our girl, Killinois Kennels Envy, which she comes off of the infamous short shot and steel breeding. And that's what makes Rocky so special. We line bred on the steel blood with Viper and Envy with that added short shot right up behind Envy being Envy's father. This right here is Primrose Mother, our girl, Killinois Kennels Prodigy, one of our foundation females on the yard over here at the Killinois camp. And she goes back to a real nice Razor's Edge pedigree as well. This right here is Prodigy's father. This is Master P Kennels Hennessy, a real badass Cairo son. And this is Prodigy's mother, Razor's Edge Paradise, which is a badass short shot daughter. Prodigy goes back to the same exact blood that created the Samurai Paco. The only difference is, is you had Hennessy to Paradise instead of Roe to Paradise. Both breedings was a Cairo son bred to a short shot daughter, which was a real popular combination of Razor's Edge breedings back in the day. This right here is White Folks' mother. This is our girl, Killinois Kennels Trinity, another dog that we produced here at the Killinois camp. She comes out of Razor's Edge prime time as seen here, a real badass Smokey son, and our girl, Killinois Kennels Nuisance, one of our foundation females, which was a badass Dominator daughter. That was the breakdown on Napoleon's top half of his pedigree, but now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the bottom half. And this right here is Napoleon's mother, our girl, Killinoy Kennels, Trixie. She's another one of the many amazing females we have on the yard over here at the Killinois camp. Trixie is really heavy bred on the Low Jack's Remy Martin blood, a real badass Razor's Edge dog, another real, real famous dog in the American bully world. This right here is gonna be our girl, Hazel. She's gonna be Sativa's mother. Real, real nice female that I got from one of our brother kennels up there in Chicago, Outlaw Kennels. Big shout out to them. They hooked me up with Hazel. Whenever I knew I was gonna do this video, I was really looking forward to breaking down this part of the pedigree. I know most of you guys that watch our channel actually knows Napoleon's pedigree by heart, but this girl, Hazel, is really, really special to me. 
You know, she goes back to some really good blood of ours. She's heavy bred on our boy Debo. And for most of you know that that boy Debo is super, super special to me. He's our foundation dog that we've had over here at the Killinois camp. And he's somebody that really put us on the map. On the top side of Hazel's pedigree, she goes back to this badass boy, the Samurai Paco which like I mentioned earlier in this video, goes back to the same exact blood as our girl Prodigy. This right here is gonna be Paco's father. This is Razor's Edge Little Row. Real badass dog, world famous dog. Just like Gotti Lines Dax, this dog's got blood all over the world. And this right here is gonna be Paco's mother. This is Razor's Edge Paradise. She come out of the infamous short shot and diamond breeding. And we got this blood really heavy in our yard over here at the Killinois camp. Another thing about Hazel's pedigree is this girl, Georgia Bell, right here. She comes off of Debo's litter mate brother, Dominion Pitt's Ozone, a real badass boy. Now on to my favorite part of this pedigree, which is the bottom side of Hazel's pedigree. She goes back to this boy, Outlaw Scrappy. He was one of Debo's best sons and the homies up there at Outlaw Kennels in Chicago really did their thing with this boy. They helped us spread Debo's blood all over the world and this girl is actually two times scrappy. So with all that being said, on the bottom half of Sativa's pedigree, it makes her three times Daz and Madness, two times scrappy, and two times Killinois Debo. And one thing I wanna mention is when we're breaking down these pedigrees, a lot of these dogs you're gonna see come from 10, 15, even 20 years ago. So they're not gonna be quite as impressive as the dogs that we have currently or the dogs you see of today, but just know without these dogs you see in these pedigrees, you wouldn't have any of these dogs out here today. And that's why we break down these pedigrees and show you guys these clips in these videos because a lot of people tend to forget about those dogs that actually put us where we're at but i want to publicly say r.i.p to my boy debo you know without him us at killinois kennels we wouldn't be where we're at and a lot of other kennels wouldn't be where they're at as well and you know that goes along with the american bully you know that boy Debo put in some work out here in the Midwest and his blood is all over the world. And we're doing our best to try to keep his blood alive. And with this boy Big Clout, we got Debo in the pedigree heavy. We got Daz and Madness in the pedigree four times. And we got some crazy breedings lined up with Big Clout where we're gonna be really line breeding on that Debo blood and bringing it to the forefront. Again, big things are going down with Big Clout right now. You know, if you guys are interested in using this boy for a stud fee of 2,500, make sure you get with us ASAP, lock it in because it will be going up. I'm telling you, puppies are already hitting the ground off of this boy. And once this video drops, we're gonna have a lot of people reaching out and filling in those spots. So get with us and we'll take care of you. Don't forget to let us know what you think about our boy Big Clout in the comment section. Also, let us know what females on our yard you would like to see him bred to, man. Like I said, man, we got really high hopes for this boy. He's gonna take our yard to a whole new level. We're gonna be locking in all that muscle, all that mass on these breedings, man. Big things are going down with Big Clout. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Well, that's it for the video, man. We hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and let's shoot for a thousand likes off of this video. Also, make sure you guys leave a comment. If you don't know what to put, you know, just leave a fire emoji or whatever, man. Also, leave the words Killinois Kennels in the comment section. If you haven't already, make sure you guys go over to Instagram, follow us at Killinois underscore kennels, and also follow us at TikTok at Killinois Kennels as well. We've been dropping a lot of never seen before footage on those platforms, stuff that you will not see on YouTube. We're about to get really active on there. I think we got about 13,000 followers on 
Instagram and where you know we're almost at 2k on TikTok. So make sure you guys get over there, follow us. You know, big shout out to everybody that rocks with us, man. Hits that like button, comments on these videos, shares the videos, tells your friends about the channel, man. We're on a road to 100k subscribers right now, and we're going to do our best to try to make that by the new year. I know we haven't been really active on the channel, but all that is about to change, man. Make sure you guys rock with us, support those videos, and stay tuned because we got a lot of real big stuff coming up.